Before anything, I'm going to spray your hair with a heat protectant. Here I'm using my KQC Thermal Shine. Now I'm going to brush her hair to distribute the product evenly. Because she has really thick hair, I'm going to start with the bottom layer first. And I will be using my 1 inch curling iron from Babylist. And I really like this because it's made from ceramic so it doesn't damage your hair as much. Although I prefer using clipless curling irons, I recommend that people with short hair use curling irons with a clip because it's a lot easier to use. Now I'm going to release another layer and yes, yeah, she has really thick hair so I'm going to create another layer on top, pin it. And I'm going to curl this layer the same way I curled the bottom. And when you're all done, you can do the top layer and you can curl in any direction that you want because later on I'm going to be gathering it anyways. So just as long as your hair looks curly, that's good. Now I'm going to pick up some hair from the crown of her head and I'm going to back comb this area to create volume. Then I'm going to grab some hairspray and spray that tease in place so that it doesn't come undone. And then I'm going to do another layer right underneath it. So just back comb and then spray it with hairspray. Now you can comb it out a bit just to see what it's going to look like. And I kind of want it more voluminous so I'm going to grab some more hair from the top and I'm going to back comb it again. Now when you've reached the desired volume, what you want to do is just comb it out nicely. You only want to comb the surface of your hair because you don't want to lose the tease and the volume. Now gently gather the top half of the hair and twist it and make sure the twist shows. And then secure the twist with two bobby pins. Just pin it right in there. And then depending on how you curl your hair, um, it should spiral like this, especially if you have short hair. And now what you want to do is just grab a chunk of hair from the left side, twist it, and then grab a bobby pin and just pin it to where that larger twist is so it's just all together there. And then grab another chunk right underneath it, twist it, and pin it in the exact same manner. And since three is a charm, I'm going to do one more little twist and then we're done. Now I'm going to pretty up this hairdo with some flower clips. Oh, so beautiful. To keep your hairstyle looking fabulous all day, I recommend using a Stronghold hairspray. This is White Sand Stuck Up Hairspray, so I'm going to spray some all over her curls, at the back, as well as on top. To get a polished look, comb down the flyaways and just perfect your hairdo. So this is the completed hairdo. I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and thanks so much for watching. Bye!